press the mic as you need to. Okay. If you look at the person on your left and you look at the person on your right, you may notice that each and every one of you are different. Good morning, students, teachers, faculty, and parents. Today, I would like to talk about difference, but not just difference, embracing your special difference. If everyone was the same, our society would be very dull. We wouldn't have different types of food, let alone different people. Our world is one big melting pot filled with incredible people of all different shapes, sizes, colors, and backgrounds. But what does difference really mean? Would someone like to raise their hand and tell me what difference is to them? Different color is a good example. Not the same, that's a perfect definition. According to the dictionary, difference is a point or way in which people or things are not the same. Here's how the world is so different today. There, there's a variety of over eight different ethnicities of people living in America. An estimated 70% of the population are Christian, 1% of the population are Muslim and Jewish, 19% of the people are handicapped, 15% are living below the poverty level, 55% have brown eyes, 8% have blue and hazel eyes, and only 2% have green eyes. And even 20% of the population has a tattoo. Each and every example is different, just like each and every individual. Don't fear your difference, embrace it. I would now like to tell a story on how difference made an impact on me. We were at a restaurant with my little sister, Ella, and my mom. In line, there was a woman and her daughter in front of us. The little girl was handicapped with arm and leg braces. Ella walked over to her and asked for her name. She said her name, but I couldn't understand what she was saying. My mom bent down and started talking to this little girl. As soon as my mom stood back up, we noticed the woman was crying. My mom asked, are you okay? All the woman said was, thank you. And my mom said, thank you, for what? The woman said, for treating her like a normal girl. But she is a normal girl. My mom said, the woman said, that's not what other people think. As I walked out the door of the restaurant, I observed two things. First was that little children don't see bias, which means they don't see color or even handicaps. They just see a little friend to play with. The second observation I pulled from that day was how much the woman wanted her daughter to be treated normal and how painful it was for her daughter to be constantly labeled as a handicapped. Even though this interaction made me sad, I walked away learning so much more. Throughout this chapel, I've talked a lot about difference, but the truth is, we as humans are all the same. We all eat, drink, sleep, and try to get through the day. But it's on the outside that people judge. Psychologists have been studying how we make sense of other people, an area of research we call person perception. It turns out that almost entirely, entirely below our awareness, our brain transforms bits of information, what someone looks like, how they sound, what they say, and their behaviors along with what we know, what we think we know about them into an impression. We feel like we simply see people as they are, but nothing could be further from the truth. Impressions are as much about the perceiver and his or her expectations, assumptions, in memories as they are about the perceived. Beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. The process of perception is not surprisingly a biased one. We have loads of biases hardwired into our brains, preferences for people who are similar to us or who are in our group. Awareness of those who are different, a tendency to save mental energy by using shortcuts like stereotypes to fill in the blank about others. And while many of these unconscious biases might have made sense and helped us keep us alive in our primitive times, there's no place for this in the modern world as it causes all sorts of troubles. I am here to encourage kindness and to encourage you to maybe get to know someone before you have an opinion on them. I would now like to show a short clip of Spookly the Square Pumpkin trying to fit in with his round pumpkin friends. Poor 
Mr. Spookley sat there all alone, sad and confused, wishing he hadn't grown, wondering how different things might have been if he was round, if he fit in. This movie is about a scarecrow and a spider trio helped an odd-shaped pumpkin overcome his feelings of shame and inadequacy. In the clip, Spookly the square pumpkin was trying to fit in with all of the other round pumpkins. He even sang a song about how he wished he was round. In the end of the movie, Spookly ends up saving the round pumpkins from a deadly rainstorm. He is later accepted by the round pumpkins in the far finally puts him on the front porch for everyone to see. A lesson to learn from this movie is don't try to fit in because you are unique, and that is what makes this world so special, because of differences. If you could take away one thing that I'm talking about today is open your heart and open your mind to the differences in the world around you and embrace the differences in one another and in yourself. I truly believe our differences make the world a better place. Thank you, and have a good day.